Hello, my name is Lee Bazin and I'm from Sandringham School in St. Albans. Great, so Lee, what does it mean to win this award? Um, uh, well, um, first of all, I've just received it, so I'm still in a, a state of shock, but um, it is lovely to get a thank you to think that my students and my colleagues had nominated me for this. Um, means the world, and then to think that um, I've actually, someone's thought enough of me to put me through to actually win this. Um, there, there aren't any words that I, can, that I can find at the moment to sum them up, but I'll think of some later. Thank you. What makes an outstanding teacher is somebody that's um, willing to go into it with integrity and enthusiasm. And when I say integrity, I mean take your personality into the classroom. Um, so don't just be a Mr. or a Mrs. so-and-so. Actually, who are you? What, what, what is it that blows your hair back? And how can you translate that to the kids? Kids know when you're insincere. So really, I just try and be as sincere as possible with them and use a bit of a sense of humour along the way. Coming into teaching, I was, I've come from a painting background, so I'm an artist and I splash paint, splodge paint and all the rest of it. Actually, the biggest problem for me coming into teaching, the biggest hurdle was actually being a professional, so dressing like this, um, logging on and checking emails on a daily basis, um, working as a part of a team, because I, I kind of, um, as an artist, that's not natural to me, I think. Um, so, so yeah, actually becoming a professional is, is my biggest challenge, and, and uh, I'm, I'm striving for that. I'm still not there, but um, yeah, I'm getting there. Well, uh, I see art's role in secondary education is, is it can be target-driven, but I don't think it should be. I think it should be about um, giving the child an opportunity to take confidence in a piece of work because, you know, um, I can see the beauty in a paint drip the child makes or a, a splash they make or a simple mark, even a full stop sometimes. It doesn't need to be a picture of a horse looks like a horse. And through doing this, by finding the beauty in the everyday, by translating this to the children, it really gives them a chance to develop confidence and think, I can go out into the world and I can be an artist and I can find uh, my place in this world. Um, that's, that's how I found mine, really. And, and that's really what I'm trying to do, is invigorate kids by, by showing them the wonders of art. The thing I like most about my classroom is actually that it's mine. Um, I've mounted a chair on the wall, as I promised to Joseph Pursuit. I've uh, got my own paintings up in there, and I also keep a pair of trainers in there for when these shoes get too uncomfortable, and I can slip on one when the heads are looking. That really is why I love my room, because it's my space, it's my world. I painted the scene in blue, um, just to kind of get the kids thinking that any, anything is possible in my classroom. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's, that's it really. I love my classroom. <laughs> the reason I really wanted to get into uh, secondary school teaching was because it was a secondary school teacher that changed, I think, the course of my life. Um, she kind of uh, took me to the front of the class and told me that she expected better from me in art and saw that I could, thought that I could achieve that. And um, for someone who didn't have very much self-confidence, that meant the world. And uh, actually the, the steps and forays that I make into this, it really consolidates it all and make me feel like it's a, it's a worthy, a worthy uh, profession to dedicate myself to. And as an artist, I'm going into it as myself and there's not many professions that I can do that as, you know, um, I am an artist teacher. Yesterday, I got the privilege to take a class trip to the Henry Moore Foundation and um, was amazed that, that just to see these kids interacting with the artworks, working with them, and at the same time kind of thinking about their relationship to nature, being outside, getting them away from the PlayStation. This for me was, was one of those moments that I had to pinch myself and be like, are you guys really paying me to do this? For me, the importance of art outside of the art classroom is it's, it's creativity. And Einstein himself was a genius, but he noted that he couldn't be a genius without an element of creativity, okay? And that goes for any genius. Um, even if you're a doctor, sometimes you need to think outside the box for creative solutions. So this is just all of these walks of life. So I don't see my subject as just making pretty pictures. I, I see it as a, a creative uh, problem solving that can kind of add a positivity to the world that we live in. In any new teachers coming into this, um, do you care about kids? Do you want to make a difference? Has someone made a difference in your life? Um, and uh, yeah, do, do it as you. You know, um, get into schools, get some experience, 
and, and really try and get in amongst classes and make a difference to kids. Um, I haven't looked back in the past two years, so I definitely recommend it as a profession.